Good morning. Today we're down here in the municipality of Clare to meet with Amy Parody, the communications manager of the municipality, and we're meeting at Rendezvous de la Bay, which is going to be the home base for an exciting new project. That Good morning, Amy. How are you this morning? I'm doing well, Nadine. How are you? I'm very well, and thank you so much for speaking with us today. What does being named a welcoming Francophony community mean? Well, maybe I can start, and I'll start in French by ex explaining what, how this all transpired. So, la communauté de Clare a été nommée l'une des 14 communautés francophones à travers le Canada en situation minoritaire, comme étant une communauté francophone accueillante. Ceci veut dire que euh, pendant les trois prochaines années, l'IRCC nous feront, euh, financera euh, un montant afin de, de, de d'offrir des services et des activités aux nouveaux arrivants qui souhaitent s'installer à Clare en français. Et nous allons également offrir des outils aux résidents, aux commerces et aux organismes afin de, de faciliter l'intégration de ces nouveaux arrivants à la communauté. So in English, <laughs> uh, the community of Clare was one of 14 communities across Canada that are in minority language situations that was labeled the welcoming francophone community. So that means that within the next three years, we'll be participating in a pilot project that will be funded by IRCC uh, with the intention of providing activities and services to people who wish to settle in Claire in French. Uh, we're also going to be offering tools for individuals and uh, organizations and uh, businesses in order to make the integration of these new arrivals uh, a little easier on them and on everyone in the community. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So, how does the municipality of Clare envision this will mean for your existing residents, but also the new residents that come here? Well, uh, Clare is a community that is always in expansion. For instance, right now we are undergoing a, uh, we're installing high-speed internet across the community, which will ensure that more than 4,000 businesses and individual residents will have access to uh, high-speed internet, fiber wow. internet. Uh, we're also going to be uh, financing a, uh, we'll be funding a low-income housing initiative. So we're going to do a study to see, in terms of low-income housing, what is needed in Clare for uh, residents of all ages and newcomers. Um, we also have the Congrès Mondial Acadien that is coming, the World Acadian Congress, which is a one of, it's it's a, a a coveted uh, event that takes place once every every five years in order to uh, celebrate Acadian culture. So there's a lot going on, and we would be so happy to have new arrivals come and celebrate with us and and live and live the good life with us here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, how long will your project last? It's a three-year project, so it will wrap up at the end of the, oh, sorry, in 2022. And what does the municipality of Clare hope to achieve from the plans you're putting in place? What we hope to achieve is to be able to have some concrete tools to be able to help new arrivals uh, feel at home in Clare and to have uh, and to have a community although while we are more while we are an open community to to new folks and to and to new cultures we also want to make sure that uh, our our residents are well equipped with uh, with perhaps some some more know-how about what it is to be an immigrant and uh, how how we can help make people feel more at home here and we also want we we love having people come here to work and to come here or to come here to study, but ideally we want people to come here to stay. So that's one thing we really hope to get out of the project. That's great. And to someone listening to this interview, what do you want them to know about living and working in Clare? Well, I can tell you as somebody who did not grow up here, I moved here uh, almost five years ago and it really is a welcoming community. I was welcomed here uh, with open arms. Uh, I fe as someone who hasn't grown up here, I feel like I belong here. Uh, the people are very warm. There is opportunity. We have one of the only, we have the only French university here in Clare, um, and we uh, there's innovation everywhere. So uh, it, there's a lot of outdoor living. There's a lot of relaxed living, and uh, there you, you'll you'll find it's like it's like the weather. You get a little bit of everything here in Clare. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And have you hired anyone for the project? 
Yes, in fact, uh, we have hired, we'll, we'll be hiring two new people. So I should mention that this project is a, is a, is a partnership between the municipality of Clare and La Société Acadienne de Clare, which is a cultural organization here in Clare. So uh, on the municipality side, I've got my, my uh, co-worker Chantal Surette, and she works here right now. We're in the, uh, the rendezvous de la Vie. It's a visitor center on the campus of Université Saint Anne in Little, uh, sorry, in Church Point. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> yes. So you've been here for, for a few years now as a tourism manager, right? Yeah. So this would be probably my fourth year, I think. It all kind of matches together now. <laughs> so what we figured was if, if Chantal is here already offering uh, services and information to people who come to visit Claire, well, why not offer those same services to people who want to live in Claire? So we're going to have this visitor center turn into a welcome center. Excellent. Yes, and so people can come here as a one-stop shop, is that right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I deal with the public a lot in general, and that includes either local or people from away. So since I already deal with that and information, I mean, we might as well put both jobs together, right? So, mm -hmm. so Chantal, in your words, tell us what you think this project is going to mean to Claire. Moi, euh, ce, ce projet 7, c'est euh, vraiment bon comme en général. Je peux, je peux euh, accueillir toutes sortes de monde, euh, soit le monde de, de Clare ou d'Autour, avec beaucoup plus d'informations n'importe quoi. Euh, si le monde a des questions sur la région, sur l'histoire, euh, des événements qui se passent, des choses nouvelles, moi ça ne me dérange pas de les aider. Euh, si ils ont des questions, n'importe quoi, euh, je veux qu'ils se sentent confortables euh, à venir me visiter n'importe quand. Well, ladies, thank you very much for meeting with me today. I really appreciate it, and I'm sure our viewers will as well. Bonjour. <laughs> Can't wait to see you. Waddle, <laughs> waddle. <laughs>